Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to have a selection from our youth choir at this time. Amen. Hallelujah. We're asking all our young people to prepare. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together for our young people one more time. Amen. I love Jesus. 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 Come on and put your hands together. Our young people love Jesus on today. Amen. Hallelujah. give our young people another hand. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We getting ready for the word of God. Amen. Everything going down but the word. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Won't you tell someone everything going down but the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. We pray that you came with your cups empty, that God may fill them up. Oh, amen. Hallelujah. That God may fill up your cups on today. Praise God. We have a selection by... Amen. By our young people, they're going to present, present us with a dance at this time. Amen. Praise God for praises of Christ. Come on and give them a hand praise as they come.
Hallelujah. I believe the Lord touched that baby. Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise up in here. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. The Lord touched our young lady, that young lady. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on and praise God with her. Come on and praise God with her. Oh, shot by shame. Shanda. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hey, glory to God. Hey, God. Thank you, Jesus. to God you may be seated in the presence of the Lord it's an awesome thing when God comes in and touch our young people oh yeah that oh my Sunday oh God see y'all don't know the little baby been going through something with her grandma bleeding on the brain laid out in an intensive care unit so she wanted to know today father do you hear me Glory to God. She want to know that God hear her prayers for her grandmother. Glory to God. You may not have nothing wrong with nobody. You may be all good. Your mama good. Your daddy good. You may be all all right right now. But won't you tell your neighbor one day you want to know if God hear your prayers. You going to want to know if God hear you. It might be all good right now. But one day you going to need to know if God hear your prayers. To God. Pastor, get ready to come up and preach. Hallelujah. It ain't my day to preach. But you know I will and I can. Glory to God. Oh God, I want to know, Father, do you hear me today? Glory to God. Won't you ask him, Father, do you hear me? Glory to God. I need a miracle right now. We're standing all over the building. Our pastor is coming. Amen.
It ain't my turn. Hallelujah. It ain't my turn. Hallelujah. But sometimes you want to know, Father, do you hear me? The baby been going through something. Keep her lifted up in prayer. Keep Sister Crumity and her family lifted up in prayer as she go through what she going through. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Theodore Teddy Hall Jr. is coming at this time. Come on, give God a hand praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Every head is bowed, every eye is closed. Dear God of the Bible, we come before you now as humble as we know how, God. We come to tell you thank you. Thank you for your goodness and thank you for your mercy. Truly, you are worthy of our praises. God, have your way in us and through us. Move among your people. You are wonder in our souls, God, and we tell you thank you. Father, we bind every demonic spirit of a stronghold and every hindering spirit that would hinder your people from receiving the word of God. Satan, you are a liar. We bind the hand of death. We rebuke death and we speak life into your people. Father, move among us that after hearing the word of God, our lives will never be the same. Challenge us in our thinking and elevate our minds, God. Don't let us leave here the way we came. Father, there's some standing on the brink of suicide. Some standing on the brink of not knowing what tomorrow holds. So, Father, I pray now that you would heal those that are broken. Speak into the lives of those who are wounded. Have your way. We yield ourselves over into your hands. Even now, speak to your man's servant. We say this in your son Jesus' name. Let the church say thank God. And amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Come on, let's give our young people a hand. your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo! It is, it is Youth Day, amen, and we thank God, amen, for young people, amen. amen. And I'm here to tell every young person that was on the program, I see some great joy. I've seen the Lord move on our young people, amen. Parents, you don't know what an injustice you do for your child when you don't activate your child in what ministry has to offer. One of the greatest things I remember as a young boy, uh, Pastor, was singing in the choir as a child. Those were some of my most, I remember how the Baptist churches would get a bus and we would go to other churches to sing. And uh, those were some of the happiest times uh, that I can remember uh, when the Lord would take a group of young people uh, to do uh, work for him. Yes, sir. Um, parents, bring your children out. Greatest investment, somebody say the greatest investment, the greatest investment. that you can invest in your child, in your child. is bringing them to Jesus. I didn't say bring them to church, bring them to Jesus. but bringing them to Jesus. You'll never regret that. You will never regret it. I promise you. That's an investment that will pay dividends for the rest of your life. Thank you. I don't think nothing makes a parent more happier than to see their children serving God. And I'm, not, and I'm not talking about just going to church. I'm talking about for a parent to see their child serving God where, where there is no gray areas in their lives. Amen. They're not, they're not undecided about should I listen to secular music or should I have gospel music or is it all right for me to date a man that's not in the church you know but they got all of that down they already know how they should be living and what uh, the requirements are uh, for being a disciple of Christ amen following after the very heart of Jesus amen. but I am so proud of the young people here amen uh, that that was on program today amen and uh, I just want to say uh, to the parents again Invest in your children. You can buy them iPads and iPods, name brand shoes, name brand outfits. Those things they're going to outgrow and tear up and wear out. But when you invest into their very souls, into their spirit, that is something that they will carry into eternity with them. And I know a lot of times kids get on our nerves, but saints, we, we got to be patient with them. You understand? Because we ain't always been settled. Amen. But you got to know that, that children, the Bible says, are like arrows in a, in a warrior's bag, you know. And when you pull them out, amen, and load it into the bow, amen, you got to be aiming them at something, amen. Because if you don't aim your children at nothing, guess what they're going to hit? They're going to hit nothing, amen. So you don't want to have children just left to their own devices, you know what I mean? 
And, and, and let me tell you something. They may fight coming to church, don't like coming to church, but don't you dare give them an option and they're living in your house. Don't you dare give them no option. Are you going this morning? No, no. Because if you're not going this morning, then the place where you need to be going is in your own place. You don't hear what I'm saying? I'm serious. I'm teaching. This, this could be the message right here. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't give them. They're living in your house, under your roof. You're responsible for them. What are you aiming them at? No, don't do that. Because if you can't go to church and, and you're burning my lights, hmm? eating my Cocoa Puffs, eating my Sugar Smacks, pouring my milk, burning my electricity, you ain't going. No, no, no. Out of the question. Because they may go kicking and screaming. But I guarantee you, when they become adults, they will look back and say, if it had not been for my mom and my dad making me go to church, I don't know where I would be because ain't nothing worse than a child that don't know God. Has no inkling about God. 